What's going on guys? Berg's back here once again and today Seneca Rum. Before we go any further, presentation. So it's like a bronze almost, kind of red to brown. The side is definitely uh, more like a light brown. Um, of course, Lake Erie Tobacco Company, Killbuck, New York, 1.2 ounce, tax class M, same old, same old, metal lid, thick plastic bottom, date is not good, um, this is probably, I think this is the worst of all of them actually, it is March 2014, so I bought this one in Pennsylvania, um, a, uh, 63 US 37 foreign, pasteurized, sale only lot in the US and after rum we've got soda and then we are done with Seneca um, you could see the dip tattooed almost in the imprint of uh, Seneca on there it actually looks kind of cool and disgusting at the same time scent to be honest with you it smells like cleaning solution um, yeah, it smells not like bleach, but some kind of miscellaneous cleaning solution. There's a spicy scent in there, um, but yeah, that's kind of kind of awful, uh, downright awful. So I only had one dip of this so far, um, but here we go. So I don't know if I have too much news, um, it's currently Sunday the 3rd, I'll uh, schedule this one for tonight and it's about 3 in the afternoon right now. I was just driving back up here and uh, been windy all day, like 50, 60 mile an hour winds, it's been kind of nuts and uh, a little bit of snow on top of the mountain so uh, yeah snow in april uh not enough that it hit the ground and barely enough that you can tell that it snowed at all but uh on the higher uh higher elevations or see some snow around here today at least um but should warm up by the end of the week at least um so yeah the smell is pretty bad pinchability and packability Seems okay um, for being old. It surprisingly packed pretty well. Floats a little bit. You know the story if you uh, watch the cream video. If not, make sure to check it out if you want the history and everything else that, to do with it. Price, of course, was 99 cents, like I said. Nicotine, like I've been saying, is going to be low. It's going to be hardly anything. Uh, I think anyway mm. a little bit hit the back of my throat and that wasn't too pleasant um, texture and burn this one I think the texture is pretty good um, compared to some of them burn not getting one um, not getting one at all. So what you came here to see, probably, since uh, most of this is the same as the others, is the taste. Well, at first, you know, rum sounds appealing. Sounds like, okay, we've got Coke Black and Whiskey Blend, Stoker's Tennessee Moonshine Chew. Let's, uh, why can't somebody else make an alcohol flavor dip? Here's one, um, mm. and uh, the taste is pretty horrendous, um, to be honest with you. First off, not the biggest rum fan. Um, second off, secondly, whatever, um, 
it's very spicy uh, real that, that's really what you taste it's you know and that's not my kind of not my kind of drink really so that's part of the problem number two is the alcohol taste is basically that cleaning solution scent it's that kind of a it's that kind of a taste it's not like a drink alcohol taste it's more like a chemical cleaning alcohol kind of taste um, so yeah no not not appealing not pleasant um, yeah they they uh, didn't do this one right in my opinion okay um, but yeah it's just it's got and and the other thing is this is the oldest one of the bunch okay and yet it may have the strongest flavor out of all of them so what does it taste like fresh is what I, I'm thinking because then I really probably would hate it um, yeah I mean I could tolerate this lip of it but I promise you I won't dip this one again um, aftertaste won't be good either so we'll be sure to wash that down last ability um, if you can stand it for more than 20 minutes uh, shout out to you because this will be taken out when I'm done re uh, recording moving right along we'll do shout outs full review Georgia Dippers Stoker's Dipper Peach Pride Dippers um, Arkansas Dipper 2017 Yee Boys um, West Kentucky Dipper and uh, the Dipper 19 and while I'm at it because uh, he just subscribed Duke Dipper um, I guess that about does it okay so number of subscribers is 284 and the rating out of 10 on Seneca rum hmm three out of ten not good not not good at all not to me um, and part of the problem is that you would think I thought it was gonna be excellent um, but yeah it just it just isn't uh, not obviously not buying it again and uh, yeah so I can promise you soda is better had it already but that will come tomorrow day after that like I've been saying the one year anniversary episode or whatever you want to call it and then maybe just a little break from the daily videos a couple days and then we'll get to some of the things that have been uh, occupying my my drawer for a while um, there's a lot in there that's months old and you know I, maybe half a can of one thing or one pinch left of one thing that I've saved for the review so all kinds of odds and ends some some rare stuff some common stuff so should be interesting there's some pouches there's some chew there's a little bit of everything to do yet uh, so that'll be coming up next few weeks so I think that about does it for today like the video if you liked it comment subscribed comment and subscribe excuse me uh, Instagram Twitter and snapchat all at abergs95 if you would need to get in touch with me for whatever reason um, and I think that's about it so see you in the next one